this tutorial I'll teach you how to export a model from Blender and bring it into the Unreal Engine. In this tutorial we'll be using Blender 2.8 Beta, uh, which I downloaded today, the 24th of January 2019, and we'll be using um, Unreal Engine version 4.21.2, um, which I updated to today. So over in Blender, I'm going to delete the default cube by pressing X. I'm going to hit Shift A and bring in a monkey, or uh, AKA Suzanne. I'll grab the uh, move widget and I want to point out something about um, importing things or exporting out of Blender into Unreal. The point of origin is the point of origin for the scene, which is zero uh, X. 0y and 0z, not the point of origin for the object. And that's important um, to keep in mind because if you raise your object uh, way up in, say, the z-axis, when you bring it into Unreal, your point of origin will still be at the point of origin of your scene. And that might be a little bit awkward. So I'm going to switch to side view. And by the way, I'm not going to mention all the keys and um, methods that I'm using here in Blender. Um, this is not intended to be a Blender tutorial. It is just a workflow tutorial. You should have already um, been introduced to Blender and be comfortable moving around in it. I'm going to uh, tilt the monkey head so it's resting on the floor and I'm just visually lining this up. It may not be perfect. All right, and I'm gonna put the uh, point of origin of the scene right here at the base of the monkey and I think we're close enough. I'm going to come over here uh, to the materials tab, add a new material, change the name of it to monkey mat. Actually, I'll change it to red monkey mat for red monkey material. I'm going to go into render view. I was already there, it turns out. I, I love this EV render, by the way, in Blender 2.8. Just amazing and amazingly fast. Uh, I'm going to change the base color to red. Um, yeah, that EV render engine so fast, you, I'm pretty much just staying in rendered view at this point and <laughs> have forgotten all about solid view. Uh, I do switch over to wireframe view now and again, though, when I have to line things up. But uh, yeah, just amazing um, work that they've done on Blender. All right, so I've got the object all set up to be exported, and um, I would like to go up to the File menu and we'll select Export and FBX. I've set up a directory for my FBX files. I've actually previously exported this model. That's why you see the name there. Uh, I would like to point out some of the settings, though, in the Export FBX uh, section down below when you go to Export. The forward setting, I like to set to negative Y forward. And the reason for that is in Unreal, let me back out of here and uh, just select an object so you can see it. Uh, y goes forward in the, uh, to the right, the arrow's pointing in the positive direction for Y. And in Blender, um, Y is flipped around and goes forward in that direction. So you don't have to, to set it up like I've done here um, with negative Y forward, Z up. You can flip the model around when you bring it into Unreal. I just like to get it set up here and um, then I'm all, all good to go when I bring it in. Uh, I'm going to only export the mesh, so I'm going to click on Mesh. And I'm also going to go to Geometries and on Smoothing, select Face Smoothing. And the reason for that is there's an error you get when you, or not an error, but a warning when you bring a model into uh, Unreal if you don't have some kind of smoothing selected on it. With that said, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've got the uh, monkey FBX as the file I'm exporting to, and I'm going to click Export FBX. It's that straightforward. Um, I also want to point out one more thing about uh, exporting. If you have additional materials on an object and you haven't assigned them to the object, they won't be exported. If you do have additional materials and you've assigned those materials to different parts of your object, the, all of those materials will be exported in the FBX file. Shifting over to Unreal, I've set a 
uh, folder up in my content directory so content and I made a folder called my meshes to put the stuff that I'm bringing in uh, to Unreal in and to import your object you would right click in the folder area select import to slash game slash my meshes which is the folder I've created and select the monkey FBX file and click open the import options dialog comes up we're all set um, we don't need to select anything here we don't need to change any translation or rotation um, make sure you click import all and that's it you've brought your object into blender now there's a couple things uh, additional pieces of information I want to get out there one of them is that the collision model that is created on your mesh I'm gonna double click and open up the mesh so that we can see the static mesh editor and um, let's look at the collision model that gets created for the object I'm gonna click the drop down along the top for collision and select simple collision and you'll see that it is a very simple cage that is wrapping the object that blend uh, that unreal will use for the simple collision and the complex collision is mapped to the actual mesh now if you want to use this as a physics object you'll be using the simple collision and that setting is found over here in the collision section of the details um, by default you're set up for project default which uses the simple collision if you drop that down you can select simple and complex use simple co collision as complex collision or use the complex collision as the simple collision so let's um, jump back to blender I just want to show you one thing if you wish to make a uh, collision object or have a, a collision object specified in blender and export it with your FBX you can do that and I'll, I'll show you how to do that real quick let's um, just say for example I want to use a, uh, a sphere for my collision object what you need to do is you need to rename the sphere and it has to um, follow a naming convention so it gets exported as a collision so I'll double click on the sphere and I will name it UCX underscore the same name as the mesh that it's going to be the collision object for so in this case um, Suzanne and then underscore two numbers and I'll just use uh, zero zero so UCX underscore Suzanne zero zero where did I find that information that's a good question that information is specified in the stat FBX static mesh pipeline in the unreal documentation and I will put a link to this in the video description and here's where those collision names are found if you're using boxes use UBX uh, capsules UCP USP for spheres spheres and UCX for convex objects and there's more information on that um, here and definitely you should go here and read about this to get all the information on the FBX static mesh pipeline so again I'll put that uh, that link in the video description all right so um, now that we've got this brought into Unreal I'm gonna come back to the first person example map to use your object you drag the mesh out and drop it into your level and now you have a Suzanne that you can interact with so I'm gonna click play and you'll see that there is the Suzanne model and you'll notice it's static it's not um, there's no physics applied to it if you want to play around with some physics with this you can select the model and go to the physics settings in the details panel click simulate physics and now and, um, move the Suzanne around because it's got physics applied to it so that covers everything as far as exporting a model from blender into unreal to use as a static mesh I hope that uh, that was instructive for you and please leave a message in the comments if you have any questions or comments thank you